This is The Vampire Jack by Jack Wolf Knives, and it's coming in right in time for spooky season. Halloween is right around the corner. It is an absolute banger as always, so let's dive into some specs and talk about why I think you need a Vampire Jack. So the Vampire Jack comes in at an overall length of 6.7 inches. We got a blade length of three inches. The blade style is a long spear with the blade material of S90V in a belt satin finish. And for the covers, we are looking at fat carbon purple haze. So it's safe to say that at this point, every single knife from Jack Wolf is an absolute banger. I think I've said it in just about every video. So what is it that sets them apart, right, from each other? And most of the time for me, I think it's just the way that it handles. So the Vampire Jack is a little bit longer of a slip joint. And ergonomically, I think this might be the best one so far. Uh, the Pioneer Jack, I mean, between the Pioneer Jack and the Vampire Jack, it's like very, very close. But I think with this one, when you have that little groove here, that actually fits the hand really, really nice. There's no hot spots at all. Everything is contoured, so it's not like you feel anything from the knife itself but it's just ergonomically perfection. Then you just crush it every time. These videos are getting hard to get because there's really not anything that anything bad that you can say about Jack Wolf. Like I said, they kind of nail it every time. The long spear blade is really nice and slicey as always. Um, I think maybe for EDC tasks, this might be the best blade. You got a nice sharp tip at the top and of course a generous belly to cut into stuff. You have your nail nick as well, which I normally don't use, and you do have a lot of space between the handle and the blade to do your pinch open, which is my preferred way to open up any slip joints from Jack Wolf. The walk and talk is always recognizable on a Jack Wolf, and it's usually on the slightly harder side. So for me, like digging my nail under that nail nick is just a little uncomfortable. I don't know, man, I get, I get weird about stuff under my nails, okay? Lexi always bothers me about it. She tries to dig her nail under mine, and I hate it. So I don't use the nail nick on any Jack Wolf knife. The walk and talk on this one is fairly strong. Um, another thing that's getting kind of hard to gauge is just how strong they are, because a lot of them are seem to be like in the same realm. Um, if I had to put a number on this, I'd maybe go like eight out of 10. Like it's definitely strong, but not as strong as something like, I think maybe the big bro might've had probably the strongest walk and talk so far in my opinion. Um, but this is falling in line with like 8 out of 10, not so hard that it's impossible um, and not too light that it feels like something like the Kingpin. I almost stubbed myself, you saw that? The covers are flat carbon purple haze. This is actually my first purple haze from Jack Wolf and I'm really stoked about it. I was saving it for something else, but Ben sent me some pictures and this one stood out. You get a wide range of variety with this drop as well. As you guys have noticed, Jack Wolf has been incorporating a lot of new materials with their lineup. So for this drop, you have the Fat Carbon Nebula, you have a Titanium Jigged Hand Satin, you have a Fat Carbon Dark Matter Red with a DLC coated blade, the Fat Carbon Purple Haze, which is the one that I have, the Titanium Smooth DLC, which is just a full blackout version as well. Packaging on this one is spot on as always. I actually think the Vampire Jack might have my favorite artwork to date. You get your leather slip, you have your two stickers, one to rock and one to stock. And of course you have your Jack Wolf premium cloth. There's never anything negative to say about the packaging. So there's that. So ultimately the question is, do you need one? Personally, I'm always going to say yes. I think Jack Wolf makes some of the best production slip joints in the market. Strong walk and talk, they feel sturdy. You can definitely hard use a Jack Wolf slip joint and not feel bad about it. There's a ton of variety for this round and for some of the previous rounds. So I think there's more, a better chance for you to pick one up that you'll actually love in a configuration that you'll like versus some of the previous ones where it was just micarta and fat carbon. A full titanium vampire jack looks awfully sweet. So these actually drop tomorrow, October 20th, 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Mountain Time. Doesn't concern me, I don't live there, but I'll put it up on the screen somewhere. Um, they're going to go for $299. So if you're interested in picking these up, make sure to check out some of the authorized retailers on the website. For me, go hook up my boy, Brian, Blade Capone. Blade Capone is going to have all of them. So you should pick him up from Blade Capone because he's a really nice guy. And he invited me to go hang out at his pool, which I need to do eventually. <laughs> Anyways, 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little overview on the Vampire Jack. Let me know down in the comments if you own any Jack Wolf knives. And if you do, which one? I'd love to hear about it. As always, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one.